Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, e-registration, so either 1987 or 88. Um, Land Rover 90, genuine county station wagon, 2.5 turbo diesel, obviously finished in white with um, uh, contrasting cloth trim inside. Nice spec this one, um, really nice and straight. It's got a matching set of five, what are those? Um, trail 4x, M&S Trail 4x4 regrip. Um, 265 70R16 tyres on modular rims. They look pretty new actually, there's still a lot of the spikes on them um, and the spare looks to be unused actually. Nice big fat wide things. Um, let's see what else it's got on it. Side steps. Uh, it's got Mantec security grills on the rear windows and on the tailgate. Obviously being a county it's got proper alpine lights and everything. Oh, it's starting to rain again, oh, I'll get wet. Um, it's got a light bar on the front and those four lights uh, do come on, they're connected to the main beam. Uh, what else do we have? Standard ride height on this one. Um, it's got a steering guard on the front, uh, front A bar with some extra lights, you know, I can't seem to make those work. It's got the original um, power wash for the headlamps. Uh, what else do we have? Um, high level air intake, just there. Um, Mud flaps front and rear, and it's also got tow pack with combination pin and dual electrics on it. And it's a six seater, this one. All right, let's go around it and pick out some good bits and bad bits before I get too, uh, too absolutely soaked. Very, very straight, actually. Had a bit of paint here and there over the years by the look of it, but it generally looks um, incredibly straight and, and dent free. Really quite nice, actually, uh, from that point of view. Let's start around the bonnet. Oh, it's also got checker plate on the wing tops and the door bottoms. Um, door bottoms are no doubt hiding a multitude of sins under there. Right, around the front end, bonnet and everything all looks good and nice and nice, uh, pr probably original paint on there. As it's getting wetter and wetter, it's hard to tell, but um, I think it is. There's a few sort of marks here where the paint's got a bit thin, just some over polishing. Um, the front bumper is a bit crinkled in the near side corner here, just there. But it's not uncommon on these, but looking down the near side, it actually looks very straight and clean and tidy down there. Really nice, very dent free. Um, all looks good. Near side front wing is good. A little bit of electrolytic reaction is bubbling under the paint on the back of the near side front wing there. Uh, but that's about it. Up here on the scuttle corner on the near side, it looks first class. Really good. Uh, a post looks good as well. Looks like it's possibly had a bit of paint on the A post and possibly on the scuttle as well. Um, slightly different shade of white, but not very much. Usual electrolytic reaction on the passenger door up there and also down there, and probably underneath where the modest, where the um, Checker plating is as well. Um, modesty covers all look pretty straight. Bit of reaction on the back of that one. Let's have a look inside. Get out this rain for a minute. Um, proper standard county interior, which all looks to have lasted pretty well. All the headlining's all pretty good, not saggy. Um, seats are in pretty good shape by the look of it. Even the carpets are still here in both uh, both sides, which is um, very unusual. In fact, centre cubby box. Um, it's got some switches up here, but I don't know what they do. They don't seem to be connected. Uh, can't find anything that they do anyway. Near side door frame, a bit rotten in the corners. Yeah, rotten in both corners, but minimal movement in the hinges. I've still got years of life left in it yet, and it closes well enough, but uh, doors are rusty on the bottom, it's fair to say. Um, near side rear wing looks pretty good, apart from a little bit of electricity action paint loss in the back corner there. Uh, around the tail end, usual electrolytic reaction on the, um, uh, on the bottom of the tailgate, but the cross member looks to be okay. It doesn't look to be plated on the outside surface anyway. Um, nice in the back here. It's got seat, rear seat belts in it as well, quad seat belts, and all looks to be in good shape with the four individual cloth seats. Tailgate actually a bit rotten in the corner here, in the in the um, the left hand corner, but it doesn't really matter about that as long as uh, the right hand corner is good and it shuts nicely as well. Um, looking down the offside, there's a bit of paint loss on the back of the offside rear corner. Just down here and up here. Oh, it gets so wet. Um, but the looking along the along the offside, it all looks straight and clear and nice along there. Um, offside rear wing is all good. Uh, that's all good up there. Offside door, same story as the driver, as the passenger one. Really, bit of reaction on it here and there, down there and up there. Um, offside scuttle corner, excellent. Again, it's been it's some paint up there, so it's probably had a, a, a corner put in there. I should think that looks pretty good. Offside front wing, bit of reaction, that's a paint loss just on the front corner there, and a big bubble of reaction just coming through under the paint just there. Um, in the driver's side here, uh, floors are wet because it's absolutely soaking around here at the minute, but uh, uh, everything's all good in there. 
Um, driver's door, again, a bit rusty in the corner there. Yeah, rusty in both corners on the driver's door. In fact, the driver's bottom frame has virtually disappeared, it would appear. Um, but just minimal movement in the hinges and again, shuts well enough. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. Oh, dear. Uh, and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.